Hi, my name is Brian and today I'm going to do a video tool review of a Harbor Freight Drillmaster 61626 quarter inch trim router. We'll just call it a trim router. Um, and I also, um, I can't find my round over bits, so I went ahead and bought a, uh, a set of Warrior quarter inch um, shank round over beading router bit set. It comes with a 1 8, a 1 quarter, a 3 8 and a half. It's item 68870. So anyway, let's, let's do it to it. Now, when I was shopping, I noticed that these were all, uh, the boxes were all mangled. So I think they have maybe a packing problem. A shame that Harbor Freight's manufacturers have not caught up with the rest of the universe and started using cardboard packing instead of styrofoam. All right, there's something small and clear in here. Hmm, no idea what it is. Let's see if it has a home. Hmm. You know, it's not bad. Um, so there's a knob here on the side that turns a plastic gear that moves the base up and down. Um, has a little locking knob. There's some junk in the in the box. Yeah, that's the easy way to get it out. So we've got um, looks like the makings of a fence. Yeah, not worried about that. More fence pieces, more fence pieces, and the iconic set of brushes that come with every Harbor Freight tool. You know, I've never had any of my tools last long enough to need the brushes. And when they die, the brushes aren't normally what's gonna revive them. Um, so there's a set of wrenches. This, this does suck, I mean, it would be much nicer if it didn't require wrenches. So um, I think we're gonna do this the easy way. Unlock that and then let's see if we can just pull this off. Yep, there we go. Now it is much more accessible. All right, let's see what kind of Houdini magic it takes to get into this thing. You know, Harbor Freight goes to great lengths to keep people from stealing their cheap tools. I think the sticker is what holds it together. Yep, that kind of confirms that. What I don't know, ah, there we go, it's a nice little box. So we want the 1 8 inch. And I'm gonna use one of my wrenches to get this bad boy out because it's in there pretty darn good and the bad thing about having bits in there that good is you'll cut your fingers trying to pull them out by hand. <coughs> yeah, so ergonomics is not this thing's strong sweet, but you know, for 20 bucks, what do you expect? I think it was $29.99, and um, you know, it may never have another bit in it. This is actually what it was bought for was, um, a one eighth inch round over bit for taking the edge off off my projects. I read an article in Fine Woodworking that suggested. Okay, so you basically rotate slightly and then it it comes out. Now I am gonna do something different. Um, go around that once and then I'm just gonna tie both wrenches to the cord because otherwise I'll probably never see them again. And um, this will make the maintenance a lot easier and keep them where I can find them. I don't care about the rest of this junk that's in here. I probably should, but I don't. So in the event that I change my mind later, all this will be in here. We'll see how long I have to that. <clears throat> I 
sure your tools are unplugged when you, or turned off when you plug them in. So I have a um, 6000 series 3M mask that I'm going to be wearing along with some Harbor Freight earmuffs. It's a, it's a good deal for a specific project like this where all I want to be able to do is round off the edges of, of boards as I work with them. Um, so, you know, for $29, not bad. Um, you know, it's not the nicest bit. I'll probably end up ordering a Freud bit, um, which is almost $26. It's as expensive as the router. The $20 uh, bit set a chance. Um, it's okay. I just think the Freud would cut better. Um, so I'm using a 1 8 inch roundover bit. I'm getting uh, 26,000 RPMs, what the label says. Eh, yeah, okay. I, I'm not sure I believe that, but it, it works good for 20, you know, it's a $29 router, so I don't have super high expectations. And if you're gonna have a router that's configured with just a specific bit, this is a perfect solution. Um, I could see having one of these in eighth inch and one of these in quarter inch and, and basically leaving them configured that way. So thanks for watching my video. Be sure to like my video and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed the video. Um, you can also check out uh, my various blog sites, which are autobus.us, which is about my motorhome, uh, comfy.house, which is about my house remodeling project, which is what these countertops are part of. Um, they're temporary countertops. There's some videos about those as well. And then nanohawk.com, which is my technology blog um, and also my small technology company. So thanks for watching and have a great day.